Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to create a simple custom product using WooCommerce Product Designer. As an example, we will design a t-shirt the customers can customize prior to order. So what is WooCommerce Product Designer? WooCommerce Product Designer is a really simple, a complete HTML5 editor which can be used to personalize logos, t-shirts, cards, mugs, and any product. Yes, basically any product that needs to be customized before the order by the client. You can see examples of the type of products that can be customized uh, using WooCommerce Product Designer, you can see the cards, the inv invitation cards, the mugs, event cards, the t-shirts, the business cards, but not limited to those. In fact, our plugin is so generic that it can be used for any kind of web to print product and even more. First thing to do in order to use WooCommerce Product Designer is to have WordPress and WooCommerce installed and activated. If this is not the case with you, please pause this tutorial and go back to your server in order to install WordPress and WooCommerce, then get back to this tutorial. So now let's get started. Right after the plugin activation, you need to create a page for the customizer and assign that page in the settings of WooCommerce Product Designer. This is done only once, so you will not need to go through that step the next time you are going to create a new custom product. After that, the next time you will want to create a custom product, you will just create a configuration and create a product for that configuration. Let's go. Let's create a new page. Let's name it the designer page. Page published up. Now Let's go to the settings of WooCommerce Product Designers and find the settings here and make sure that our designer page has been assigned in the settings, you know, as the configurator page. Design page, cool. Here we are going to assign our newly created designer page. Good. So here is the setting page of WooCommerce Product Designer. Let me explain briefly what you can set up here. In general, you can set up general aspect of a configuration, your design page, the template page, the page on which the product will be displayed, and many more. Um, you can read the descriptions below each setting to understand the setting better. The explanations are pretty clear and easy to understand. Cool, let's save our setting. Then you need to create a new configuration. In order to create a new configuration, we come to configuration. New configuration. Let's name it T shirt designer. You, know, you can name it whatever you want. So, uh, check the first configuration. The first, you know. Parameter design from blank. If this is enabled, the plugin will 
display the design from blank button on the product page. We will need both, so we will check them. If you are following me, just check and let's keep going. You can also change the canvas size according to the theme you choose. You can set um, watermark here, but I don't need that now. We don't need that, so let's come to the essentials. Um, as I mentioned, I'll I'll increase the width to 700. Basically, what I want to do is to create a front and back view of my t-shirt. So let's set the assets of those parts and use the front icon. So, um, I'm gonna add the front part and the back. Set the icon. Here's the front. This is the background of, of the whole canvas. We can leave that blank. Uh, for the other layer. Send this little dog. In the back. Same that. But if you want, you can include the other link in, in, in the output. You can set the pricing rules. Okay, so we can publish it. Now that the configuration is published, the last step is to create a new product. To create a new product, you just come here, product, add new. Let's call it green t-shirt. For the description. Here, we are gonna set this simple product. I'm gonna leave it just like it is, uh, just the way it is. The regular price 20, sale price 18. Now, here we are gonna set our configuration. We have only created one configuration so. If there was two configurations, both of them would have been displayed in the list. Okay, so there's only one configuration, which is the one we created so far. And let's set an image for our product. green t-shirt cool now let's publish it
If you follow to this point, congratulations, we're almost at the end of this tutorial. So, we'll check the results of what we've been doing so far. Uh, let's view the product. You can see our product, our green t-shirt. Okay. So. Let's see the configuration. Configuration is loading. Cool. Uh, it's a little bit messy because of the sidebar. We'll go back. So, it, according to your theme, if the theme was uh, didn't have a, a sidebar. We wouldn't need to go back and edit the page to make it full width. So let's do it to see just the whole configurator. Um, full width. So let's view the page now. Good. Now you can see the configurator is displaying very well. And the little dot is over the t-shirt. Uh, cool. You can switch between the front and the back view easily. So, this is it, you've created a simple custom product using WooCommerce product designer. If you follow to this point, we want to say thank you, and we hope it helps you a lot. So, goodbye.